What's going on guys? Welcome back to Hidden Hollow Homestead. It's been a while. It's a beautiful Saturday out here. We just got home from the grocery store, just finished having lunch. And we got some projects to work on, so I thought we would uh, pick up the camera and bring you guys along. We are uh, out here by the chicken coop right now. The girls are doing well. We processed some chickens at the end of the year yet last year. So we're down to 11 right now. 10 hens <laughs> and my boy Hawk. Um, and actually right here where chicken coops are, we're actually going to be moving the garden here and going to uh, raised beds this year that hopefully we'll build here in a couple weeks. And the former garden over here is going to be getting leveled out and just going back to being dirt for now and grass. And I think, I mean, the chicken coops are coming over here, or the chicken coop, we're going to be building a new chicken coop will be over here. Um, it'll be about the same size as that one, but strong enough that it's not falling apart and we can move it. And then the rabbit hutch, which is our old coop that we brought from Texas, it's going to be becoming a rabbit hutch. It's going to come over here because we're going to do the meat, meat rabbits this year as well. But today, we've got to get our greenhouse cleaned out, and we're going to get some onions started and possibly start some garlic as well. We've got a, we got a mess in here. There's a Gouda, for example, in here hunting something or another. You can see all my, the dogs come in here and hunt. So they had, I had all the bags stacked up down there and they've pulled them all out. So I got to get all those cleaned up and put all into each other. And then we got all our milk jugs in here that we'll be starting tomatoes and whatnot in. And it's kind of a mess in here, you know? So I'm going to get these doors opened up and start cleaning this out while Amanda finishes doing dishes and then we'll get started on some seeds, I reckon. All right, well, I got a couple of things to still get out of here, like the remnants of our bird feed that some mice got into and ate. There's not actually any feed in here left, it's just shells. But my wife has started to plant our onions. So we are starting all of our onion bulbs in small cups, and then once they get settled here in another month, we should have all our garden beds up, and hopefully winter's done early and we can um, start moving stuff into garden beds in about a month or so. But she's getting all her bulbs started right now. Okay, got all those then. So we've never done onion bulbs, and we got these at Atwoods. They're Dutch Valley, and these are the yellow, and I have purple. The same, it's also Dutch Valley. Um, we also bought their potatoes, and it's gonna be a little while before we start potatoes. Last year, we started our onions the same time as everything, and they didn't get any bigger than like shallot size. Um, and so we're trying to start them earlier. Uh, last year we used um, a website called Seed Time, and I inputted everything that we wanted to grow this year into Seed Time. And it said that we should have started these last month. So. We bought these last weekend and finished buying all of the rest of the stuff, the little cups, um, today so that we could get these started. And I'm basically, it's too far. You're too far away. I don't know if I can reach you. <laughs> but I'm basically just sticking them root side down in there. And like, I'm, we're not pros. We don't know if this is going to work, but we don't have our stuff ready to direct seed because we are moving some stuff around. We are going to build a new chicken coop and put our garden beds where our chicken coop is because it gets more sunlight there and plus 
Um, our garden was in this space right here and we had a lot of the wild rabbits that come out of the woods um, come and eat our food. So we're doing raised beds this year and we have not had the time to build that because it's winter. So this is what we're doing. We're getting a way earlier start than we did last year. And I underestimated how many uh, bulbs <laughs> were in these little bags. So we're going to do two trays of yellow and two trays of purple, it looks like. Or as many of the little cups as we got. We possibly can. I think I did that one already. Did I? No. Um, and then hopefully these grow to be a decent size and then a couple of weeks they can be transplanted into a garden bed very soon um, some of the other things that we're going to be growing this year way more potatoes we have three different kinds of potatoes and we bought seedling potatoes instead of last year we did the we planted the potatoes that we had like what are they called sprouted sprouted i guess like the eyes they had the eyes on them and they did okay we've got we got some not very many enough to make like a meal we're gonna do corn again this year we did pretty well with corn we just had an irrigation problem last year um the corn we planted was too far away from the our water source so only some of them grew but this year way more planning than we did do you have a shelf for these yeah okay so this tree you can take these two do we have any more of those cups in there or I no? you okay all right you got it it's broken so you have to go underneath wait 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 stop working i'm not touching it <laughs> Okay. Just take it and we'll fix it inside. That tray's trash. <laughs> After this season. Some of these trays we've had for years, like in Texas. A lot of the plants we're going to be planting are going to be in those milk jugs that you saw. We had great success with that last year. So we are definitely um, going to do that again this year with peppers and tomatoes in the next couple of weeks. Getting everything started early, early, early. And I don't know if y'all remember from our videos last time, um, cause it's been a while since we've done a video. He's going to be real mad when he goes to edit and that noise is in the middle of it. Because he used to get mad at me. That's the potato chip noise. Potato chip bag noise. Um, we got a new doggy. Where is he at? He's over there bothering the cat. Oh, he bothers the cat. He's what? 12 he was, weeks? He was six weeks old on 4th of July. Six weeks and eight weeks. Eight weeks old on 4th of July. Eight weeks old on 4th of July. So... That makes him like... He's like 10 months old. Yeah. Here he is. Havarti. Havarti? <laughs> so Havarti is Gouda, our oldest dog, our six-year-old men pin, oh. is her nephew. We have determined oh. and he's a whiny little baby. Yep, mom said something to him, so now. <laughs> yep, puppies, you know. I don't do them. Luna's two now. He's ten months old, give or take a little bit. Go to six. I don't know where she's taking off to. The uh, cat is actually, we got her two years ago, uh, a couple days ago. In, no, two years ago, three years ago. 
Because two years ago, we were here this time. Uh, yeah, in 2021, it was like a week ago. It's the end of January. 2021, Deacon brought her home, found her on the side of the road. I do believe it was. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh. That doesn't sound right. I'll have to go look. Because that doesn't sound right. No, because it was right before we moved here. So, yeah, she's, we've had her just a little bit longer than we've been living here. So, and then we have, you remember from our flock in Texas, we have Kentucky. She's the only chicken still surviving from that original flock. She's still here, kicking. And that is Coco Puff, one of her babies, standing there in the middle. And then Yeet over there in the corner is the only female last left from our last batch, the golden one there in the corner, um, that ended up being a hen from the batch of four that the snake didn't get. So, yep, these two are over here chasing the cat because she's in the tree. Yep, and that's their life. We got a pretty great life out here, these dogs. They're spoiled rotten. Well, we did determine we need a new watering can, uh, but here are our onion starts. So we'll have to get some more um, cups this week and get the rest of them filled up and I guess some more trays as well. Because we still got a lot left. Where'd they go? Right there. Well, we can direct seed those in a couple yeah. of weeks when we can get the bed going too. But it looks a lot better in here now, doesn't it? Huh? Just find a rake or a broom. Yeah, I guess well, she wants to rake out all the old grass clippings, but I know you don't. I think it looks better in here. Well, that came out so fast. And I have to say, we use these for everything, transporting water, because we don't have hoses to feed the animals or anything like that. Hawaiian punch jugs work great. Yeah. We've been through quite a few Hawaiian punch trucks, so we're actually, we are talking about it while we were at the store today, but we're probably just going to run water off that corner of the house all the way to right around here somewhere and put us in a frost-free spigot so she'll have a hose out here because the garden is going right in this area here. One of the problems we had with it in its old location was it did not get all day sun. It got shade from that tree line. For a large portion of the day and it was close to the rabbits hopefully i'm gonna be able to get all this cleared uh, with my field brush mower or a trimmer or whatever they call it or come up with something else but get this cleared back so hopefully we can keep the bunnies over there away from the garden a little bit further we've got three or four um and that may not be the trick either we have to go another route but that's the plan for now is to get the gardens over here and then we're going to probably do soaker hoses this year on timers instead of sprinklers because while the sprinkler worked um like she was saying we had an issue with the corn because the sprinkler water wasn't getting that far and it was kind of a pain in the butt and sprinklers are frankly not very efficient for watering crops not nearly like they are for watering grass so yeah that was a lot of fun all right well next on the block got garlic so we ended up finding a deal on some older garlic at our grocery store. We ended up getting probably six pounds of the stuff for like two bucks. So we went through and we opened it all up and cleaned it all up. And all of these pieces were sprouted. And we had a whole bunch that wasn't that got washed and cleaned up to use for cooking and stuff in the kitchen. But it was just a super good deal on an absolute ton of garlic, which was awesome. So, we have got our sort of raised bed. This was actually a shipping container for something at my father-in-law's work. Uh, but it's full of grass clippings and leaves from under the tree over there and dirt. This is our dirt from here on the property. It's nothing crazy, nothing special. But uh, we're going to get this all filled up with this garlic. And then we're going to cover it with straw and let it sit. And hopefully it's not too late in the year for this stuff to start growing. Mm -hmm. 